All right, let's now shift our attention to what is happening in Afghanistan, where it is not just war and conflict that, that has created a lot of problems in Afghanistan. The issue of natural calamities is, of course, another big headache for the people in Afghanistan. According to reports, at least about 25 of the country's 34 provinces have been hit hard by a drought. Our next report gets you all the details. Houses built of mud dot this remote village outside Afghanistan's Herat province. There's hardly any sign of water here. The drought in the Kamar Kalag area has entered its second year. 66-year-old Haji Wali Jan is one of the residents struggling to cope with this crisis. He brought half a dozen plastic containers to this well. Jan could only manage to fill two. The well ran out of water. Before we had a well over there, but now it is dried out. There is no water and the water we have tastes bad. There are less than 15 elderly men left in this village. Everyone left the country because of hunger. And our women and children, where should they go and what can they do? Two years ago, the village's main well ran dry, so the residents pooled in money to pay for digging it deeper. For a while it worked, but soon it was in need of repair yet again. The villagers began a rationing system, half of them drawing water one day and the other half the next. In another part of the village, two young boys reached an almost dried up river covered in algae. They filled their containers before returning home. There was so much snow and rain here before. The grass was still here. Have you seen camel? When it walked through it, you'd just see his head. That was 20 years ago. The dry spell has hit 25 of the country's 34 provinces and this year's wheat harvest is estimated to be 20% less than that in last year. The United Nations has said that Afghanistan's drought has been made worse by the impact of climate change. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.